Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. And just like that, Hermes was in the house. We're gonna do a special unboxing today. I'm so excited for this. I cannot tell you. There's also a story to go along with it. There's a whole beautiful little ritual we're gonna have together here. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today, get access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Deco, all spelled together there for extra perks. Uh, thank you to my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday. And you're all invited to join the live chats. Now uh, I have my co-chatters here in the sidebar. <laughs> what do you got? Everybody's like, ah, okay. So yeah, shocker, right? Hermes moment. So I was at my film premiere, uh, European film premiere in Barcelona at the Dart Film Festival for my movie Art Lovers Unite with Vivian Westwood. And I was flying through different uh, countries, doing different businesses, stuff I had to do in Europe. And uh, one of these airports, now usually if you see an Hermes boutique at an airport, they're disconnected from the mainland boutiques. So like they can't look up your profile. You can't say, oh, I'm Deco, but I, you know, I have a profile with Hermes. No, they're disconnected, right? So the, you know, they don't get the Birkins, they don't get the Kellys allegedly. Uh, but anyway, I had a little bit of time left before my connecting flight. And I stumbled upon uh, an Hermes boutique at the airport, one of the many airports I was at. And they had surprising, usually they don't really have good inventory, especially during the pandemic and after like it's they're really, really, it's hard for Hermes to keep up with demand and their productions are very low. And every time I go, and I've been on a journey, not the kind of journey you might think. Because as I said, this none of this builds up to any sort of, um, all the things that I buy online from Hermes, the boutique or um, airport, it doesn't you know go towards any quota, anything. It's just for the love of it. But I'm learning a lot about Hermes and about, you know, how their co-workers all complain no matter which boutique i go to whether it be at the airport or in major cities they all say we're so sorry to always have to say no to our clients it's not just about bags it's about everything you ask for we really don't have but i was relatively surprised at the amount of inventory that they had in this particular um airport boutique one of the things that i was surprised to see was the male version of the kind of the kelly moccasins you know the black ones with the big big soles and then the little kelly stuff i tried them on they had all the sizes it wasn't for me i don't really like pointy shoes like if it's a pointy shoe it better be really pointy like a witch but otherwise i like rounded shoes these are just too pointy for me i didn't look good i didn't like them so anyway i was asking for certain things jewelry pieces stuff that i that's on my bucket list and they had nothing and then i was kind of just I was like okay you know what thank you let me just make a circle around the boutique because it was like a central part in the middle wall and then all around the rest of the boutique and then external walls so there was quite a, a bit of things to see so i walked around and i'm like i stopped there and i'm like stunned yes they had a birkin like exhibited there that they don't sell you know but i was not stunned by the birkin i was not stunned by the birkin i was stunned by this now before we get to it there's a lot more in here that i have to show you so First of all, I was also very surprised uh, that um, that same day I was also at uh, Chanel perfume counter and makeup counter. And for those of you who follow me on Jacob CC, all spelled together, Instagram, you already know what I got. But I just want to show you here also the extras that I got at the airport, which never happens. Well, almost never. But anyway, so I got a duty free. The Tweed Cuivre from Chanel, you know, the Tweed palette. So they had this one, you know, cheaper than the regular price. So I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to do it. You know, the, the Tweed is so cute because eh, sucker for the pouch. I said I'm not going to, but I did. I ended up get, getting it, right? So I got the number one palette. Which, wow. 
Okay, live in chat, right? Uh, let me show it to you guys. That's the palette I got. So now as I got the palette, right? The lady working there was so kind. She was so, so, so sweet and kind that um, we, we started talking about the, the movie, the premiere, the you know, traveling, um, lockdown being over. She was so cool. She was like, oh, I'm working today, but my, end, my shift ends soon and I have a flight booked to go to Venice. I'm like, so wait, so you're in your uniform at the airport and you're when your shift ends, you're just going to walk from, from your shift into the airplane and fly to Venice to, like she was going to visit her sister. I was I thought that was so cool. Anyway, so we started talking a little bit, you know, the film, the Venice Film Festival and all that stuff. And so she gave me presents. So, I mean, they're all kind of packed together here in the Hermes. But I got this, and the other thing is a bit bigger, didn't fit, but, and this. So, this is amazing, you guys. Um, we got a, a beauty pouch. I was kind of shocked, because I was like, oh, you have this at the airport? Huh, good to know. So we got a Chanel Beauté, the Chanel Beauty pouch. It is in cotton with the embroidered or actually stitched in logo, right? Oh, hold on a minute. I did not know that this thing opens. Okay, wait. So, so it does have a tiny logo on the zipper pull. But what I didn't know, y'all. Oh, my God. Really? Holy moly. Okay, this thing opens up. Wow. Okay, this is cute. I mean, thank you so much. I thought it was just a flat little, you know, O case. No, but it's much bigger. And the second one I got, which I didn't have before this colorway, so I'm super happy is one of their Christmas pouches in the white tweed. Well, the silvery white tweed. I already have the red one. But I was missing this one, the gold and, and white one, or the gold beige. So she gave me this one as well. Thank you so much. Isn't that awesome? You gotta love Chanel. When they deliver, they deliver. Right. And then... Do you guys know this? We were talking about pop-up books before. Oh my gosh. It is a moon, a Chanel number no. five moon station. I think this is just amazing. Anyway. <laughs> Back to Hermes. I could not have done a video just unboxing those things alone, you know. So I kind of snuck them in here. But hey, it's all a joyous, festive occasion. Very much holiday season. Speaking of holiday season, what did Hermes give me? So they gave me a couple of perfume freebies. One of them being the Hermes Sans Violet Volinka. Four milliliter spray. Actually, yeah, I think it is, right? They gave me two times four milliliters of Violet Volinka, which I have tried obsessed, like obsessed. I'm wearing um, Cabriol right now, but obsessed. I will be purchasing a bottle uh, probably in the four set, but Violet Volinka, I got two samples. It is amazing. It is a leather fragrance. It's like a more mature version of Queer d'Ange. It's like um, it's like the grandmother of Queer d'Ange. And you know how much I love Queer d'Ange. And the other one's so cute. She gave me a little tiny version, like four little vials of Cabriol. I already have Cabriol, but so cute, little tiny 
package with four little vials of two milliliter each of cabriol for travel. Then I also got an Hermes magazine, Le Monde d'Hermes. So I, I love these little magazines, but anyway. And then this, because I was talking about the Chandoncre and how I kind of really love the design of it. In fact, I have the Chandoncre bracelet since many years. And the lady said, oh, you like Chandoncre? Well, I got you covered. And I got this from Hermes, you guys. And this was a gift. I did not buy this. <laughs> this is insane. Does anybody know? Does anybody seen this before? Did anybody? So here, and I'm not going to take it fully out, but because it is the holiday season, Hermes created wrapping gift wrapping paper. Chanel could never, honey. This is insane. Um, you probably can frame these as pictures, so I don't want to ruin them. But it's gifting paper, right? Wrapped up. And then it comes with these stickers. In many different... Oh, the Chant d'Ancre uh, stickers for the gifting paper. Oh, Tina, they sell it at Macy's? I didn't know that Hermes sold wrapping paper at Macy's. So they come in different colors, all of the stickers, right? So this is the orange base. Then there's the brown base with yellow. Um, then there, uh, if I feel a shop says she was so happy that someone was brave enough to finally enter the shop that she showered you with freebies, probably. <laughs> then there's the rose, the rose base, and it goes on and on and on. Oh, there's more the green base. And then the uh, actual gifting paper is, well, if it's available in Macy's and if it's not too expensive, I would recommend you to get it. So I'm not going to unwrap them because they're all in different colored, uh, different bases, just like the stickers. But this is kind of the concept of it. So what a wonderful gift. I thought this was like just so elegant and beautiful. Um, when Hermes delivers, they really deliver, I, I got to say, and not for nothing. Um, I think, you know, now that I've been a luxury shopper for so many years, forget about the Kelly and the Birkin for a second and those like really expensive bags, like their prices in general for luxury standard, the quality is incredible, but the prices are not as high as other brands would have. The real Shaquin says, oh my God, gift wrap. The airport Hermes sales associate seems so friendly. I wonder if you uh, had asked for a bag just for kicks. I think she would have found it in the bag. Well, I didn't need to ask. I didn't need to ask. Because the bag was standing right there waiting for me. Like. <laughs> My first MS bag, you guys. And it's straight from a boutique and like from an airport boutique. Are you kidding me? Now, this was on my wish list. So not on my Hermes, like not with my sales associate. This was just my personal, one of the things I always wanted from Hermes. But of course, as you know, um, it's always a problem to, to get what you want at Hermes in the right colorway, in the right material. It's always an issue. You know what I mean? Let's do a little screenshot moment, by the way. Okay. So, uh, no way, says Monarch, right? Kev says, oh, wait, what is it? No, you're killing us. I, now you're killing the holy bag. I'm telling you. <laughs> We're going to get to it. So, you know, I slide my... I slide these uh, ribbons off. I don't kind of just pull them off. It's the Jacob technique, darling. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Kev, I see Kev. Kev already guessed because Kev knows 
uh, his Hermes really very well. The, by the size of this, you know what it is. If you know, you know. But uh, and but you didn't guess the leather though. It is leather, you guys. It's in leather. <laughs> just, this is the one I wanted. I could never find it in leather. But now I did. Dust bag and all. Little booklet. How to treat your leather. Super cute. Comes with it. Um, actually, you know what? Let me quickly read this to you before. We, <laughs> I know I'm torturing you, but this is really important. And you're not going to listen to me after you see what is in here. But I have to read this to you because... They do say something uh, that, well, you should not do with your leather. And I was kind of shocked. So it works for me, though. But I guess in some countries it doesn't work. Leather is a living material that changes over time, Hermes says, becoming softer and acquiring a sheen depending on use, friction, and the areas where the owner places his or her hand. The leather will develop a patina and your Hermes object will forge its own unique character over time. The metal parts add the final flourish to its personality. The clasps, padlocks, buckles, and locks are all unique. Created with a silversmith's precision, Hermes hardware is the result of bold configurations and made to measure systems and mechanisms. These high-quality parts are made of brass, stainless steel, steel, or aluminum, which are then traditionally coated in gold, palladium, or permabrass. An exceptionally thick plating that is an Hermes signature. And then what they say here is, preserve its appearance. Leather is sensitive to the elements. It does not like water. It does not like intense heat. It does not like direct sunlight or excess humidity or aridity all of which may alter its appearance and color. In the event of contact with water, wipe the item with a soft cloth to avoid the formation of any stains or bubbles during drying. Avoid common mistakes. Leather does not like to live a life of excess. Some materials may leave a permanent mark, such as ink, lipstick, or fragrances. Similarly, repeated contact with raw or dark-colored textiles may discolor lighter shades of leather. To avoid distorting the shape of your object, do not insert contents that are too bulky or unsuitable. Give it time to rest. Your Hermes object will need to rest if it's to retain its sheen. When you are not using it, we recommend storing your object in a warm, dry place away from light, preferably in its box or protective cover. The cushions, tissue paper, or bubble wrap are designed to maintain the object's original shape once all its zips and straps have been closed. We do not recommend using moisture-absorbing satchels. Alas, I'm the desiccant king, and they're telling me don't don't do it. Don't put desiccants with your leather. I guess it depends which sort of desiccants you use, because for the twenty odd years I've been doing it, it's do it's been doing great for me. But I do live in a very dry climate. But just saying, I've been taking desiccants out of my Chanel bags since I read this. Shocker. I still use desiccants for my costume jewelry, though. Um, entrust your object to Hermes artisans. And also when they say, like, don't use your bag every day. Let it rest. Like, it's a human being. Like, hey, you need some rest. The bag needs some rest, too. Found that very fascinating. Brightening up a patina. Repairing a bag's corners. Dissimulating scratches. Or changing hardware. The best way to maintain your object is to regularly entrust it to Hermes artisans who will care for it in line with the highest standards. Tampering with it yourself using unsuitable products may cause damage. If you are unsure or have any questions, please contact the Hermes after sales service team. If it receives all the right care, your Hermes leather object will retain its original beauty and reveal its personality over time. So that's the little information booklet we got. Shocker, shocker. And here we go. Yeah, you have to treat Hermes bags like they are vampires, says Kev. Exactly. So um, this is what we got, you guys. We got the... Oh, baby. Yes, it's the Aline bag or the A-line, or I call it Aline. But let me tell you, 
I wanted it in black and I wanted it in Milo lambskin. It took me a long time because usually they make them in canvas. Um, oh my God. I, first of all, the smell of it. Second of all, um, this thing, <laughs> I can't, this is lambskin on another level, like on another level. I have for comparison purposes, the best lambskin bag from Chanel that I own. I have several, but this, I kind of chose the best one where I thought the lambskin was still the old school lambskin quality. Let me just take it out. And um, that bag would be from the fall winter um, 13 collection, I think. Here's Chanel's, the best lambskin Chanel had to offer. Okay, we can see it here. It is buttery soft. It's gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. But now there's Milo lambskin compared to it. I mean, it's... First of all, the Chanel one kind of lost, you know, it doesn't have its... The leather texture, really. It's been, you know, they, they do process this one a bit more. This one still has all of its grain, all of its natural patina. It also states in the booklet, I didn't read everything, like they only use full grain leather. Actually, I love how we had this conversation about, you know, full grain or not full grain leathers. And um, thank you for purchasing this leather object from Hermes. It has been crafted to last by exacting and passionate artisans. Hermes leather is an organic and sensitive material that improves over time. Hermes leather is always full grain with a top layer that remains intact and unaltered, unaltered. This ensures that the leather is resistant and ages well, while also highlighting some of the natural characteristics of the grain, such as wrinkles, veins, and pores. Far from being flaws, these nuances demonstrate the great transparency of a skin, which is a hallmark of its durability. Now what they did here, of course, you see the grain of the leather. You, you do see the veins, especially in the back. You see that structure there, right? Like right here. Uh, everything is mirrored right there. That's the normal there. You, you can see that texture of the of the leather. It's insane. Plus, it's a tiny little satchel. You know, originally it was, you know, I love everything connected with horses at Hermes. This was originally kind of, and it comes in different sizes, but it's kind of for grooming a horse. You would wear it crossbody and you would have your horse comb, brush, or grooming material in here. It's something to use in the barn. Live in ferret. What they did here was inside, oh, there's a little foam filler to preserve its shape. Inside, the bag is also completely lined in leather. You didn't, you know, for such a little tiny thing, why did you need to line it in leather? And it is the same leather used for the exterior. So the quality of this bag inside is like crazy, impeccable. I'm not a big fan of, of glazing. Hermes got you covered. They literally folded all the leather around it on the sides and they added piping. There's piping on this. It's insane. So, um, there's piping that goes all the way around, also in leather, of course, around the entire bag. You do have their logo here, but um, minimally visible. And then you got the uh, Hermes Made in France stamp up there. There's a cord inside here, but then it's covered in leather. And the leather, in this case, also not glazed. They folded it inwards, and then they've sewn it together. So you got here, this little strap is so beautifully made. You can see the fold. Now, I've been wanting this bag for the longest time because of my travels. So I needed to exactly fit my needs. And what are my needs? Well, my passport. I'm trying to find my 
iPad now. Oh, here. My iPad mini. The iPad mini, let me show you how it fits. It's, it's a perfect fit. <laughs> Hold on. And you just pull it a little and whoop. iPad mini fits in perfectly, wallet and passport. And then I can wear it either as a necklace or on my neck. Well, you can't really see it here, but it kind of lays right here. So it lays flat to the body. You can put a jacket on top, great for traveling, airport, what have you, or a crossbody. It's amazing. I actually wanted to do two separate videos, one unboxing and one review, but I'm just on such a flow right now that I'm kind of doing both in one. I hope people won't, you know, tune out of the video uh, right after they see what I unboxed because I think there's so much interesting stuff to say about this. I mean, it's amazing. This thing is like... It's so soft. And then... Now we get to it. Now I've unboxed this already. This is my Pegasus charm. Let's see how it fits. It's too big for this bag, but just for the sake of having a little fun moment with the Pegasus, let's put the Pegasus on the uh, Aline or A-Line. After all, this is also Milo lambskin. Little Pegasus moment. Whee! Okay. Let's put you on this bag. It's a little bit difficult to put it on the bag because um, I would have to turn the bag backwards. <laughs> if you know, you know. Because it would technically have to be attached here. You can't really attach it here obvious, for obvious reasons. And if you attach it above, then you're kind of blocking your entrance to the bag with the horse. So technically you would have to... You know what, let's just do it up here for the sake of just hanging it up for funsies. Just for funsies. Aww. So cute. I'm not going to wear it on this bag, obviously, but... I'm not a big bag charm fan. I just love horses, and the Pegasus was adorable, so... So, the horse is like bigger than the bag, okay? But it is adorable. You know what I mean? It is so, so, so cute that they're like kind of like chilling together. Uh, just like that, you know, chilling. And then I forgot to, to mention another interesting point um, being the little kind of, I call them the flowers. They're not really flowers. It's another thing that MS does. Now, I'm kind of reading into it uh, more as time goes by, but this particular technique that they use to close off this leather with cord strap with this, I call it the flower, but it is a, apparently a very typical thing that they do in their, um, with their saddles and that saddle stitch, which is usually on the sides here, the cilia stitch, but this is also a typical saddle stitch. I think Kev can uh, also uh, enlighten us with the particular name that this thing is called. How they kind of close it, close the leather together to create this closure. Fast the hardware, man, it looks really, really good. Um, oh, Kev says, "Oh, I have no idea." Okay, it's insane. They even have a in the interior the. Yeah, they put so much attention to like. The folded part of the leather on the interior of the bag is also completely covered with an extra layer of leather so that the piping is protected. I mean, I'm impressed. Color me impressed and also color me corrected. I stand corrected because I always thought, you know, Hermes boutiques at airports, 
they just don't deliver. But I wanted the black Aline in lambskin and I got it. And it was just hanging there. And I looked at it and I said, well, can I buy that? Or is that also just an exhibition? And then she looked at it. She looked at me. She said, no, you can buy it if you want. I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, I want. <laughs> yes, I do. So, of course, the first thing I did uh, when I came back to my iPad, I checked like, well, you know, I, I bought it and then I was like checking the I internet and I was like, hmm, I wonder, does even a bag like this, which is like far from a quota bag, it's far from any of those, you know, difficult to get bags at Hermes, even though for me it was hard to get because I never found it in this colorway and material. But anyway, and then I check out, you know, an online and I Google it and I'm like, oh, wow. Even this bag resells for more than its retail price. I was like, really? Huh. Because I thought, you know, something like this you can get for cheaper secondhand than new. No, I was wrong. Even there, I stand corrected. This one apparently is also more expensive on the secondhand market than it is new. So anyway, uh, the corners are a bit rounded on the bottom. It's more detailed than one would think. Yes. They're rounded off. And it does have glazing here at the top. And I think they glazed the, the tips of all of these flowers, just the tips. But everything else is uh, folded and then sewn in. It's just beautiful. I mean, yeah. Their leather is in insane, even when I... I mean, this guy is, is padded, right? They, they kind of stuffed him. He's handmade. This, this little guy's handmade. So cute. <laughs> Look at them. Aw. Maybe he can hang a little bit more and like use the bag as a background, like a landscape for the horse to fly. And these could be like two stars in the sky. Really cute. Anyway. Um, oh, we, yes, somebody's asking, can we have a crop moment? Yeah, we got a crop. <laughs> we got a little Hermes crop moment. We can actually have a crop moment and a Frisbee moment. So the whip it, get the giddy, giddy on up, uh, giddy on up. <laughs> He's like, wee. And then where is the Frisbee moment? Now they all live together happily ever after on the Frisbee. The collection is growing slowly but surely. I'm telling you, my journey is slightly different at Hermes uh, than you would expect. Like stuff like everything connected to horses is what I love with them. So expect the unexpected, as they would say, when it comes to my Hermes unboxings. But yes, are we are we hooked? Yeah, we're hooked. Oh, yeah, baby. We're going there. 2023. Orange is all I see. I mean, this type of orange. Don't get me wrong. Not the other type. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, thumb it up and subscribe. And, uh, you know, drop a little comment down there because it's important to let the algorithm also know that uh, the content is worthy, I guess. I don't know. YouTube is a mess at the moment. But... Love it, says Honey Love. Trina says, yup, hooked, hooked. But the horse, him on Chris what? Put the horse on a, oh, on a Christmas tree. I think that what it meant for you have no kitties. I don't know what that means. Okay, you guys, have a great, great holiday season. Hope to see you very, very soon. Never give up on love and subscribe.